Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is Video Games on Tour. I'm Frank Lock. That's Frank, and then Lock when he at the end. And today we're going to be continuing our tour through Velvet Assassin. Last time, after our feeble attempts at passing through the garden, which ended our ended up in our deaths of um, five times, I think, maybe a little bit more. We have finally passed that garden and on our way to continue on. We're back in our uniform and ready to do some sneaky sneaky out in the open where they can all see us. Alright. I like tripping and stuff. Well, I gotta lay off the shrooms, man. Ay. Anyway. Alright, just keep it walking. Yeah, you're gonna wanna be constantly moving in this section. Alright, gonna take that morphine, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just walking around and stuff. You see nothing. All right, don't see. That was his Shunzo was nowhere to be seen. I had to find a way into the cathedral. He was Phew. already in there. Wow, that's a lot of good old paintings. I would buy it some, maybe. All right. Well, that was fast. We killed 14 out of 29 possible enemies. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's go. It appeared as though I had found a way into the cathedral. I didn't know where the dark, musty vaults of the crypt would lead. The SS certainly were not here to hold a service. Whatever they were plundering, they were doing me a favor. They had finally delivered the butcher to me. I had to be careful. Shunzo and his infamous bodyguards could have been anywhere in the building. If there was an alarm, I would be certain to run into difficulties, and Shunzo, that psychopath, would take refuge behind his men. Ready. Looks like we ditched the uniform, don't have it anymore, which is a real shame. Uh, but we got this Luger, 16 rounds, but completely unsilenced. Alright. Now this is where it really, really gets irritating. Alright. Now it might be a little bit a while to get to the next checkpoint, but you're probably going to see why. Why I really hate this part. You screw up, and you start back at the beginning of this level. And you have to redo everything. Push in a box, and yada yada yada. Hey, hey buddy. Oh! Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh goody! Totally could have used that like 20 minutes ago. All right. Be very, very quiet because they will freaking see you. Hmm. 
Might have to expend two bullets on this one. Or if I get lucky, you can only shoot one bullet and then shank the other guy. Alright, I'm gonna wait for that guy in the glasses to um, walk to this area behind the shelves, shoot him, then his buddy will come looking, and when he's not looking at me, I put a knife in his ass. He most certainly will have a hard time crapping at that point, now would he? Never mind about using one bullet and shanking the other guy. Whatever. Alright, let's turn up the lights here. Now that will no longer be a problem. Alright. Now this is where it gets really irritating. Alright, got lucky on that one. Oh! Too early. And one of those suckers got a flashlight. Well, yeah. Man, I wish they made the, uh, the Cult 45 with like 10 rounds or something. Because that would be very nice to have 10 rounds. Unfortunately, pulling that pin on the guy really didn't do us any favors. Alright, collectible. The, this emblem was reinstated on May 2nd, 1939 by decree of the Army Supreme Command. It is the typical emblem of the Mountain Infantry. Lovely. All right, got three rounds left, and we just started this mission, so yeah. Also, this part was extremely irritating because if you died here, you would be going all the way back to the beginning. Now, thank God they installed the... The water was under high voltage. I had to turn off the power first. Yeah, good thing they had the checkpoint right back there. Because here you're going to be messing up a lot. Okay, buddy. And they didn't even see that. Man, these guys are dumb. And they didn't even see me? Wow. These guys suck. No wonder I'm killing them so easily. No wonder they lost the war. They can't even see some lady walking past them. Right in front of them, I should say, too. I don't want to be bothered. Or hold on. Okay, that didn't do anything. Ah, crap. Uh oh. Not good. Sheesh. Oh 
Okay, what are you gonna do now? Alright, how do you wanna play this boy? Stabbing them in the shoulder kills them, unless it's like neck or something. Oh well, we got them. We got them. Alright. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's keep moving. Got two rounds left. But I'm confident we can make it since the checkpoint just happened. So, yeah. see me. Thank God. Oh, hey, look, another collectible. A spiffy leather wristwatch could have belonged to a pilot. <laughs> yeah, always assume it's the pilot. Son of a bitch. Well, that's nice. They didn't follow me. All right. Sens-tu Comme un sale porc. Oh, alors ça va. Si tu veux être un porc, je t'en prie, vas-y. Mais j'ai l'impression que nous ne survivrons pas. Allez, ne sois pas nerveux, Val. Ben. C'est ça qu'ils attendent. Je l'avais vu venir. Je croyais qu'on était d'accord à qu'elle devait disparaître. Whoa, was I tripping again? Seriously, I gotta get I gotta lay off the shrooms, man. Sheesh. Alright, now would be a very good time to find um let's see. A med kit. None here. I came closer. Yes, yes, she did. And apparently I lost my 45. Oh well. He was here, in the bell tower. His final hour had rung. Oh, no, I still have my pistol. What am I saying? <laughs> Sucker. Oh, man. I love my job. Stabbing Nazis in the face. Uh-oh. Is there anyone next to him? Don't turn around. Oh! Yep, broke his neck with a shoddy. And I got my med kit. That's nice. Alright. Still going up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Killing Nazis, tapping Nazis, and something, something. 
Oh man, I really need another checkpoint right about now. <coughs> Son of a bitch. Well, looks like we are at war again, boys. Oh, what the hell? Ay, ay, ay. I came closer. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. Uh oh. This is not going to end well. Okay. That was my fault. I apologize. I did not mean to throw that guy's body up front. Let's, closer. let's try this again from the beginning. He was here in the bell tower. His final hour had run. <laughs> Alright, now hopefully he doesn't see the guy's foot. Okay, that's good. He can't see the guy's foot. That's nice. That's very nice. Alright, asshole. You and me, mano y mano. Oh! Oh! I think he just got shot in the nuts! Well, we certainly got him. He won't be getting back up again, I don't think. Alright, let's see if we can get through this one. Look at these split. Ah, son of a bitch. So that's why they gave me the shotgun. There's a med kit, I think. Yep. Not gonna do me a whole lot of favors in the future, but... Alright. Let's put a knife in this guy's ass. Oh! And I got some shotgun shells. This is gonna come in handy. Hopefully. And more shotgun shells. Shotgun shells all around. Wow, the shooting mechanics is kinda lame, I gotta be honest. Did not see that one coming. Yeah, he's not getting back up again. See you in hell, buddy. The was dead, peace returned to Paris. At least for one night. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's go for another mission. I wanted to end the episode here, but you know what? I'm going to give you guys a good treat. Let's go.
Well-paid sources reported that a submarine had recently tied up at Dock 11 in the Hamburg harbour. But that was not all. Top secret documents were also said to be at the dock, showing the routes of various German submarines in the North Atlantic. It would be a nightmare for the Nazis if the papers fell into enemy hands. I was infiltrated into the German Reich for exactly this purpose. No agent had ever returned from there alive. Only once I had the papers in hand would I be able to move on to the second part of the operation. The destruction of the submarine, for which air support had been promised. But first I had to find a way onto the docks. Alrighty. This is a night op. And to be perfectly honest, this is actually one of my favorite levels of this entire game. One, it's a night mission. Like, actually night, not just, you know, like, at dusk or whatever. That, and the outfit. Like, wow, that is awesome. And her hairstyle, which actually kind of makes a little bit more sense. It's all, you know, bundled up, ready to go. And let's do this. And since it's a night op, it's not completely unrealistic that she can hide in the shadows now. And the streetlights would be the ones that be, you know, exposing her. Also, quick question for my viewers. See that skull and crossbones on her, on her sleeve? Yeah, does anyone know what unit that's supposed to be? If at all. Because that would be kind of interesting to know. <laughs> this music. This music, man. Not from the radio, I mean like the soundtrack. Also, when enemies are having conversations, it's a good time to move. Is that like cannons firing? Shit. But their conversations are kind of interesting if you do take the time to listen to them. Just be prepared to have to replay the, this particular segment over and over again if you really want to catch on to everything. Moving on. Alright, let's see if we can't put a cap in this asshole's ass. Uh oh. God damn it! This is bullshit! I'm out of here! Let's try this again. So good. Yeah, the morphine is really the only thing you can really find in that house, shed, shack, whatever. Shadows. All right. Let's see if I can't put a cap in this guy's ass from here.
Ah, crap. Well, we're compromised. Sort of, maybe. Yeah, I'm down four rounds, and yeah. But I got a med kit, that's always nice. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Something's over there. A precious lighter decorated with leather and gold. It should be brilliantly capable of lighting a leisure time cigarette. Or cigar. Either one works, I don't judge. Ah, an upgrading star, okay. Hmm. Let's do with more morphine. And never know when you might need more morphine. Alright. I think this is where I'll leave it, folks. This is Frank Lock. That's Frank and then Lock when need at the end. Have some chips and salsa, baby. <laughs>